last video, we focused on how to complete dimensional analysis calculations using one or two steps. Naturally, these calculations can get a little bit more difficult as you gain more steps. So we're going to hop right into some examples here that explain how to do dimensional analysis calculations with more than two steps. For example, how many seconds are in 1.50 weeks? The strategy that I used in the last video was to start with the known and the unknown. So we know that we have 1.50 weeks and we want to know how many seconds are in there. I'm going to have to go from weeks into days because I don't know a conversion factor that goes directly from weeks into seconds. Then I'm going to have to go from days into hours, from hours into minutes, and then minutes into seconds. In the last video, I wrote down all the different conversion factors for this process. My recommendation is that you do the same so that you have an easier time with your actual dimensional analysis. I'm going to, then going to start with my known and put it over 1. I'll draw my multiplication sign and my line. And then as I mentioned, the unit that I want to cancel needs to go in the denominator. So for example, if I have weeks in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to have to put weeks in the lower right-hand corner. So that means that one week has to go on bottom and seven days has to go on top. Weeks and weeks cancel, but I'm not done yet because if I solve this problem, my answer would be in days. However, I want seconds. So that means my next conversion factor will incorporate the one day equals 24 hours. Days and days now cancel. If I stopped and solved this problem right now, my answer would be in hours. But I have to keep going because I want seconds. The next conversion factor I will use is the fact that one hour equals 60 minutes. And again, because I want hours to cancel, I have to put that on the bottom. So one hour will go on bottom and 60 minutes will go on top. Again, I'm not quite there yet. I need to go one more step because hours and hours will cancel and leave me with minutes, but I need seconds. And so the last conversion factor will be one minute on bottom and 60 seconds on top. And when I do that, minutes and minutes cancel and I'm left with a unit of seconds, which is exactly what I want. Then you have to do your multiplication. So I'm going to multiply everything on top and then divide by everything on bottom. Fortunately, everything on the bottom is 1, so that'll make this calculation fairly simple. And that will be my answer. Here are two new conversion factors that you must know. Again, it will be up to your teacher whether or not he or she wants you to memorize these. The first one is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And the second is 1 mile equals 5,280 feet. For example, the Empire State Building is approximately 381 meters high. How many miles high is the Empire State Building? Just like we did before, we'll start with our known and our unknown. Our plan, we will have to go from meters into centimeters, from centimeters into inches, from inches into feet, and then from feet into miles. As you go through and think about your plan, it's helpful to think about what conversion factors do you know that will help you get into the unit that you need to. So for example, right away, I had to think about from the beginning, what units do I know that goes directly from meters into centimeters? And then we write out our conversion factors underneath. And then we take our known and put it over one. We draw our multiplication sign and our line. We have meters on top, and so therefore meters must go on bottom. This is where we will work off of our plan. So we see that one meter equals 100 centimeters, and then meters and meters divide out. Our next step will be to use 2.54 centimeters equals one inch, and then centimeters and centimeters cancel out. The next step would be to go from inches into feet using the fact that 12 inches equal one foot, inches and inches divide out. And then finally, we learned that 5,280 feet equal one mile. And then feet and feet divide out. Again, this is another calculation that you wanna make sure you multiply by everything on top and divide by everything on bottom. So that when you do this, you'll end up with 0.237 miles. 
Just like anything in this class, this will take practice. Please make sure that you do the homework assigned with this so that you have an easier time in class tomorrow. And then of course, if you need help, make sure that you go and see your teacher as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. You did a great job today.